Hey guys, I'm making this video today because something absolutely really awesome happened to me. I, I just had to make a video about it. I, it's so amazing. Okay, so I, I woke up this morning and as I normally do every morning, I, I go downstairs. Well, actually, I get out of my bed. I uh, get dressed, sort of. Uh, then I, I, I go into the bathroom and, and then I brush my teeth. I go to the toilet I, and then I go downstairs. Uh, oh, yeah, I also wash my hands as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, I, I went downstairs, boiled the kettle, filled it up about halfway. You know, usually, you know, I, I might want to make more tea after I've had one cup. Sometimes one cup isn't enough. You know, these, these things happen. Anyway, no milk. Oh, my God. So there I am. I've put the tea in. I've put the sugar in. I've boiled the kettle and I've got no milk. Oh, God, what do I do? What do I do? Well... I thought, you know what, I best get dressed properly. So I went back upstairs and I got dressed. And then I kind of, I, 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 I was a bit stuck. I didn't really know what to do. I, I knew I needed to go and get milk. But was it worth going down the shop to get milk? This is the thing. So after, you know, I thought and I thought, you know, probably it is. Okay, I, I can't start the day without my cup of tea. So I started walking down to the shop. About halfway down the shop, I met this fella who I used to know. And, uh, you know, we, we spoke about some things. I told him what I do. He, he said, wow, that's amazing. You know, he really loves Call of Duty and all that stuff. Really good stuff. I, it, it was a great conversation. Uh, I wish I could meet him more often. Anyway, I carried on walking to the shop. Finally got to the shop. Now, I like to drink semi-skimmed milk. The problem is, though, they had no semi-skimmed milk. So I walked to the freezer section in the shop and I'm looking... And I can't see any semi-skimmed milk. This is bad. I don't like full-fat milk. It tastes really bad. So I'm like, well, maybe I can ask the manager. So I went to the little till area and I said, hello, um, I'm after some um, semi-skimmed milk. Do you have any? Uh, and they said, well, y y no, we don't. Oh, I, I, I didn't know what to do. I mean, really, guys, I was really stuck. You know, I'd woke up. I hadn't had my tea. And... I'd gone to the shop, and they had no semi-skimmed milk. You know, I, I, I just, you know, I, so I thought, okay, maybe I should just walk to the next shop. Maybe they'll have some semi-skimmed milk. You know, I, I, I really need my tea. So, I left the shop and I started to walk down to town. Now, when I eventually got to the town, I went into the biggest supermarket there, and I found some semi-skimmed milk. But there was a bit of a problem, you see. The brand I tend to buy, it wasn't available. It was just the, the store's own brand. Now, I don't know if that would taste as nice or or what. I, I just don't really know. So, I, I gambled, yeah? I, ga I absolutely gambled. And I thought, okay, I'll go for this. So, I bought some of the milk. Semi-skim. Green bottle. Everything's good. I'm waiting in line at the till. It was taking too long, so I thought, you know what I'll do? I'll use the salve check-in. I go to the salve check-in machine. Oh my god, it absolutely broke. I put my money in, and it just started flashing and buzzing. I had to wait for the manager or, or whoever was in charge of that section to come over and abs you know, uh, and fix the machine. It was, it, it, it was unreal, guys. It was, I was so embarrassed. It was unreal. I, I guess it was amazing as well, though. It, it was such an experience. It was just, it was mind blowing. So. I've got my milk now, and uh, I, you know I'm, I'm walking home. I, I reckon I'm about three quarters of the way home by now, and I've noticed the bag is kind of breaking uh, because they only gave me one of the really cheap bags. You know the ones that you know they're, they're really thin. Uh, they're not very good, so I didn't realise at the time, and it, it was kind of starting to break. Um, so I thought, you know what I'll do? Well, the only thing I can really do, and and I kind of picked the milk bottle up in the bag, and I sort of. I held it like like a baby, like that, uh, uh, and uh, it, it seemed pretty secure then. Like uh, you know, the bag wasn't taking the weight. I was carrying it pretty good. Um, so yeah, you know, I, often when I go out and about, I put my uh, headphones in and I listen to music. I have a guess what happened though? My battery only ran out in my phone. Oh, it, it was so bad. I, I you know, I, I had to listen to the, the noise of the cars going up the main road and. It was so it was so bad guys. It was so so bad. So anyway, I eventually get back home and I put my tea bag in my cup 
I reboil my kettle because I had to reboil it again, you know, because I had to go out to buy the milk. And well, I, I, I put the the milk in before I put the hot water in. I, I must have been confused because no, no sane person ever does that. You know, if you make a cup of tea, you put the tea bag in, you put the sugar in, then you put the hot water in, you let the tea bag stew, and then you take out the tea bag and put in the milk. Well. I kind of got confused and I put the milk in with a tea bag and uh, it, I, so I had to throw that away. You know, that, so that was a waste. But it was okay because I've got a lot of tea bags and I still had a lot of sugar. And the kettle was still Somebody. boiled because remember I put half the kettle was full of water so you know, I, I, could, I could do it. So this time I put my tea bag in. I put two spoons of sugar in because I like two spoons of sugar. You know, maybe I've got a sweet tooth. I don't know. And then I put the hot water in. Now, I left it about two minutes, three minutes. Then I used the teaspoon and I sort of strained the tea bag. Get all that tea goodness out the bag. You know, like the, the really good stuff. So then I take the tea bag out of the tea cup, mug, or I, I forget what I actually use now. I think it was my favorite mug. And put the milk in and then mix the milk in. So it, it was quite a lot of effort today for my cup of tea. I think it was worth it because, you know, I, I don't know how I would be if I was to start the day without my cup of tea. You know, it it, it could just... I, I don't... How the fuck do people watch this shit? Also, please explain to me why there are channels built off this type of content. What the fuck? Why do people watch it? It is so fucking bad. So bad on every single level. I can't... I couldn't even... I was trying to keep a straight face while I was doing that. And I just can't do it. I just cannot do it. But that's basically your average COD video. What the fuck? I just don't know. I just do not know.